Hiya. I'm on holiday at the moment and I'm between Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft and I'm in the churchyard of a place called Corton C-O-R-T-O-N and this church the graveyard I'm in the first burial was 1889 the church is entirely made of flint apart from the main structure sites the size of the bricks there but the rest of it is chunks of flint all flint until you get to the windows and the ledges well, most of that is flint now the reason I'm here today is because this church is supposed to be haunted and the church is still active it's partly uh, in ruin because the the main bell tower is derelict and from the main entrance heading east on the east wing where the altar is that's all still uh, in use but the bell tower is no more it sits there it's got no floors no bells and some of the gravestones the earliest gravestone the earliest body that went into the ground is supposed to have been in 1889 but uh, parts of this look really old really old this is the tower this tower is supposed to be haunted and a body a suicide victim chucks himself off this tower the derelict bell tower and he chucks himself off and every now and then the sound of him screaming as before he hits the deck can be heard sometimes people hear it sometimes he's been seen to jump and no find, no find of a body once he's jumped but the thud and the scream comes from this tower this derelict tower there's no way up there uh, anymore and the story comes from a book I bought yesterday um, all about ghosts and it's the first story in the book and the ghost is also seen on these adjoining roads now we're on a triple crossroad we have a car stopping at the junction there the car goes where this one's coming from and then they bear around the corner to the left like that is you're on a triple you're on a triple uh, junction and this is where the ghost of a suicide victim is supposed to be heard and seen jumping off the tower. <laughs> 